Hi everyone, welcome to Living on Purpose, welcome into another month. We are officially in the month of June, like we just started January and we are already in the sixth month, you know, and as we know, it is by the grace of God that we are able to see yet another day. It's because of his love, his mercy, his kindness, um, to us daily that we are even here today and so for that reason before we begin anything let us just you know just humble ourselves and just give thanks unto the father for he is worthy of all the praise and so wherever you are just join me in prayer and just thanking the lord he has been good to us he has been faithful he has preserved us And as long as we have breath in our lungs, it is due unto us to give praise unto him. And so let us just bow our heads down and let us just say a word of prayer. And so Almighty Father, Lord, we come before you this day, God. We thank you so much for this privilege, oh God, to be able to come into your presence. We thank you, oh God, for allowing us to be able to see the month of June. It is by your grace that you have given us access into your presence given us another opportunity to be able to come into your presence god father we do not take this for granted but we have come oh god together you know to just say thank you father we thank you oh god for your goodness we thank you oh god for your faithfulness we thank you oh god for your love your peace oh god that lord you have bestowed upon us O god and even as we have come into your presence father we ask O god for your mercy O god according to your unfailing love we ask O god that you will cleanse us you will purify us O god every part of our beings anything in which we have spoken anything in which we have done that lord was not pleasing unto you we ask O god that you will show forth your mercy unto us And Father, even as we have come into your presence, Lord, we ask that you will open up our eyes, you open up our ears, you open up our hearts, God. Help us to be sensitive to the word that you have prepared. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for entrusting me, O God, to be your vessel, Lord. I ask that you will breathe afresh and that you will have your way and that you will speak to the heart of your children. Father, Lord, I thank you. I give you the glory and I give you the honor in jesus mighty name that i've asked this and prayed with thanksgiving amen and so like i mentioned it is officially the first day of the month of june and it is by the grace of god that we are alive and we are standing and so on this very day one of the many things that the holy spirit highlighted to me um was the scripture isaiah chapter 41 verses 10 and i'll also share the other key verses but in this particular verse which is isaiah chapter 41 verses 10 it reads so do not fear for i am with you do not be dismayed for i am your god i will strengthen you and help you i will uphold you with my righteous right hand you know um, when i read this verse it's just that reminder that god is with us is that assurance of the word of god that whatever you are going through maybe you're feeling um fearful um about the future the days ahead of the unknown right but the scripture is that assurance that the father is reminding us that do not be afraid right but rather you know um have faith put your faith in the lord put your trust in him right because he is your helper he is your ebenezer he's the one that can be trusted he's the one that you can rely upon in every season of your life not just when you're going through um the valley seasons even on the mountain top whatever you are going through you have a father that cares for you so deeply. You know, um, another scripture that the Holy Spirit highlighted um, is found in Isaiah chapter 40, 
verses 28 through 31, which is a scripture that we are, you know, um, aware of, where it's highlighting about the strength of the Lord. And it reads, do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. You know, um, as I read this, I am reminded that, you know, God is sovereign. He is everlasting. And whatever God gives unto us, there is a purpose to it. But with every promise that the Father gives unto us, there is an instruction. Many times, you know, many of us are not able to really experience the fullness of the promises of God because we are not obedient to the instruction or we are not even aware of what the Father is saying. Um, it's very important even as we read this scripture, it says, but those who hope. And when you think about that, that aspect of even hope, but those who wait on the Lord. And let's be honest, many people struggle to even wait. Generally speaking, when we talk about the waiting room, it is a struggle for many people. There are so many people that are in a haste. They make decisions. They want God to be in it, but God is not even in it. Um, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength, right? Because the one gi that gives the strength is giving you that instruction for you to wait on him, to trust in him, right? Because he will supply all your needs. He will give you everything that you need. And so this day, whatsoever you are going through, maybe you are in need of, you know, the joy of the Lord. You know, scripture tells us in Nehemiah chapter 8 verses 10 that the joy of the Lord is my strength. May you cling on to that word. May you hold on to the word of God. May you uh, recite, meditate on the word of God even as you go through out your day. Be reminded that he is with you. He will strengthen you. He is your helper for all your days here on earth. It is my prayer that you will take delight and find refuge in the Lord, right? He says, I will strengthen you. Do not be afraid. You know, scripture tells us in Jeremiah 29 verses 11, and you know, many people love that scripture. It says, for I know the plans that I have for you, right? Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. And so understanding that even with that, it requires you having faith. It requires you trusting in God. It requires you seeking the face of God. It requires you submitting your will, right? And walking in the path of God, seeking his face daily, finding rest in his presence, being present in his presence, right? And so even as you go forth into the day, may you be reminded that the Lord is with you. Rejoice in the Lord. Joy is here. Light is here. Hope is alive. You have everything that you need in Christ alone, but you have to recognize what you have. Many people don't know what they have. We live in a generation where people are digging, chasing after things. But as believers, we have to recognize that we have everything that we need in the Lord. And so receive strength even as you go forth into your day. Know that joy is your portion. Hope is alive. Everything that you need 
is found in the presence of God. So if you feel like you are lacking something, just ask the Holy Spirit. Be sensitive and receive. Make room in your heart, make room in your life to receive everything that the Father has already prepared for you. And so that is just, you know, say a word of prayer. And even as I've given and I've shared these scriptures, it is my prayer that you will take the time to meditate on it. Once again, the scriptures were Isaiah chapter 41 verses 10 and Isaiah chapter 40 verses 28 through 31. Um, And so let us just say a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you so much for this opportunity and this privilege, oh God, to be able to share that which you laid upon my heart. I lift up everyone that is listening into your hands. God, I thank you for your children. I thank you because you have created them for a purpose. And we thank you so much for allowing us to be able to cross over into a new month, oh God. It is by your grace. Father, we ask that you will strengthen us, oh God. We acknowledge that you are sovereign. We acknowledge that you are the everlasting God and everything that we need is in you. I lift up anyone that Lord is feeling down, oh God. They are tired and they are weary. Your word reminds us in Matthew chapter 11 verses 28. As you tell us Jesus to come, all who are weary, tired and burdened, they should come unto you. And find rest, O oh God. And so, Father, we receive rest in your presence, God. We accept the invitation, O oh God. We lay our burdens onto you. Knowing that, Father, you care for us. Father, we thank you as believers that we have everything that we need in you. We thank you for the assurance of your word. We thank you that hope is alive. Hope is our anchor. Jesus, you are our anchor. You are our cornerstone. You are our living hope. And Father, we cling on to you. We thank you, Father, because joy is our portion. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Lord, I thank you. I give you all the glory and I give you all the honor. Father, I ask that you will breathe afresh upon your children, God. Draw them ever close to your presence. And Father, have your way in their lives. In all things, oh God, we give you all the glory and we give you the honor. In Jesus' mighty name that we have access and prayed with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. And so until next time, stay blessed and stay rooted in Christ. And may you be reminded always that Jesus loves you.